Hello, welcome. Sorry I haven't posted recently. Uh, everything's got a little bit busy because of the time of year. But here we go with another video for you today. Today I want to talk about another gadget that I've bought and I'm using very frequently. It's a gadget for the fire. Uh, as at this time of year, everything sort of revolves around the fire and keeping warm, as I'm sure it's the same for you guys at home, keeping warm. When you're burning coal on a multi-fuel stove, if you've got a fire that's anything like mine with a little grate just right in the middle, when you then pile on the coal, you tend to get either just quite a thin bed uh, across the whole of the base, or you get at the edges little bits of coal that aren't really burning fully uh, the best that they can. They're just sort of half burning and not producing a huge amount of heat. Really, you need a good bed of coals for the fire to be burning efficiently. And that could be quite difficult without having to put on scoop full after scoop full of coal. And you end up burning quite a large amount of coal for a little bit of heat. So surely there's a more efficient way to do that, to almost keep all of the coals in a tower as it comes up from the middle of the grate to maximize the airflow and get a much better burn that lasts a longer time because you can then control it a little bit easier. Well, fortunately, there is. So let me introduce you to the coal cage. Now, this is a very simple design that allows you to do just what we were talking about. So rather than having lumps of coal around the whole of the bed of the fire that's slowly burning, this allows you to create a big tower of coal right over the grate that is maximizing that airflow. It gives you such precision over the burn of that coal. Let's go inside and we'll have a look at it in action. So as I said outside, this is the coal cage and it sits inside the firebox and allows us to build up a good bed of coal, a couple of layers thick. So I think that this thing is just genius. It's such a simple little tool that has just, like I say, changed completely the way that I use the fire and the way that I burn coal. It gives a much more steady heat throughout the day, so long as I keep it topped up. Now overnight is completely different. Overnight I will load this up and set the fire really low with very minimal air going in and that will burn okay on a lower side of warm but that will then burn all night and I can get a good 12 hour burn off of coals doing that. It provides enough heat just to keep the chill away and then when I wake up in the morning, it's easy just to put a few more coals on, open up the vents a little bit and get it roaring again and chucking out some real heat. Let's take a look inside. So here we can really see how it is working. OK, so mine's been on now for a little while this morning. So the coals have started to burn down. But you can see what I was talking about. And you can still see that some of the coals haven't even fully started to burn just yet. And this fire's now been in for about two, two and a half hours. It's nearly time, nearly ready for me to put some more coal onto it. So now that I've loaded it up with a few more coals, it's time to talk about the controls and I want to set mine for the day. It's a reasonably warm day for mid-December, so I don't want it chucking out lots of heat. So I'm going to turn it right down just to give me some constant heat throughout the day. So my Hobbit stove has got two sets of controls to control the airflow. It's got the primary air source at the bottom and this is predominantly used for burning coal and it lets the air come in from underneath and burns the fire from the bottom. And it has a secondary air source which allows air to wash over the top of the fire and that's particularly good for burning wood as wood likes the air to come from the top. However, we're burning coal today, and so we want the coal to be supplied with a constant stream of air from below to give a really good slow burn. 
To do that, I'm going to close off the top air supply, the secondary air supply. Now, downside of this is that it's going to make the glass soot up. And that's just a side effect. Now, you can keep that slightly open, just enough to allow enough air over the front glass to keep that clear. However, I personally found that I'm getting a much better burn if I close it off fully and just go with the fact that I'm not going to be able to see the fire. That then allows me to put on a couple of turns on the primary air vent, allowing a very small amount of air to go in. Having set the controls like this means that I'm going to have a good burn for the majority of the day and I probably won't need to put any more coal on this fire for the next three to six hours. So this is a brilliant bit of kit that I will be using for the rest of the winter. I'm looking forward to seeing how it performs when we get some really cold weather as well. If you are looking to purchase one of these, which I strongly recommend if you're burning coal to heat your boat or your small space, have a look on their website. I've put a link in the description below. Make sure that you speak to the team. They are extremely helpful and they are happy to answer any questions that you have around this. They are also extremely happy to pass on their tips and their knowledge as they've got far more experience of using this than I have. I've just given you a little rundown of how I found it over the last three days. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on all of the social medias as well. If you know somebody who might like this video or is interested in this tool to help burn coal, please share it with them and let them know about my channel. Until next time, take care. Thanks for watching.